Hey guys, Sandy here with episode 4 of my Road to Glory series. Um, first things first, wanted to say thanks for the support I've gotten so far. I mean, only 8 subscribers, but nonetheless, I'll appreciate that. So, um, in this episode, we're going to go into a match right away um, against this guy, the Falcons Jr., I think his name is. Um, he's an all-bronze team, um, decent chemistry, a little bit above 50, nothing special, but... Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with my team so far. Like we're undefeated and six and zero if you count that guy who rage quit. Um, yeah, here Charlie Adam plays a really nice three ball to Balotelli who finishes into the bottom corner. So really happy with my signing so far. Um, then here this guy makes a really dumb mistake, passes it right to my striker off the goal kick, um, cuts it back and then puts it top corner. And that was Strevin. She, him and um, Symes are really good Like for bronze players. Like I said in episode 1, just like honestly so surprised that these guys are that good. Um, here, Balotelli has a really nice... Um, oh, sorry, not nice at all, actually. Um, this guy makes a really bad... Not a bad mistake, but his defender makes a pretty bad mistake. And passes it right to Adam, who finishes it into the bottom corner. A really nice finish. Um... Like I said, really happy with my signing so far. Here Balotelli plays Rundle. A nice through ball. Takes a big touch and then crosses it into Strevens. Heads it into the back of the net. Um, pretty nice play. Um, Rundle, he's a decent player. I mean, lucky to get him in a bronze pack. Pretty good bronze player. Um, there's some nice ball movement. Uh, Balotelli headed into the back of the net. There's a little robot celebration. Um, here... We have some, uh, actually that's not good ball movement at all, kind of kind of lucky, just chipped it over to Strevens, finished well into the bottom corner, there's like an army roll celebration here, <laughs> it's really funny, and then this guy blasts the ball at, when the game ends, if you just like hold X or something, or B, when the game ends, your guy like launches the ball, it's pretty funny, but um, yeah, so 6 nothing again, that seems to be pretty popular so far for my team, 6 to nothing wins. Not, again, a uh, decent spread of players who score, score the goals, some nice diversity, which is good to see. Um, I think I earned 900 coins in that game, which is a really good amount, considering that I don't think my DNF is as high as it possibly can be. So, yeah, um, a good reason not to rage quit an ultimate team is because the DNF, um, not that you should rage quit in the first place, but um, yeah, the DNF... Um, affects how many coins you're in at the end of the game. It's like a mod like a multiplier. So if you rage quit like three times, it goes all the way down to 0.5 multiplier, which like really you're in like a significant amount less than you uh, normally would if you just stayed in all of your games didn't rage quit. But there, as you saw, I bought a Fletcher for a thousand coins. Uh, Scottish midfielder plays for Man U. Um, would have fit nicely with Charlie Adam in the midfield, but. He, I got him at too good of a price to keep. I had to sell him off. Um, tried to put him up for 2,500 coins. Buy now 3,000. I'm not sure if he sells for that. You'll see in the next episode. I think I had to bring him down a little bit, but he sold for a good profit. So that was a good buy. And then here I buy a Stuart Holden, American player, plays for Bolton, um, center attacking mid. Didn't come in the formation 442, but right now I'm just looking for good players to fill in some spots and get some wins, get some coins, so can't complain with the formation right now, but later on, I definitely want to get players who like the 4-4-2 formation, because that's the formation I'm going to be playing throughout the series, so that was a good buy, and then I go into the market and buy myself a manager, um, Scottish manager, 4-4-2 formation, I show you here that the manager actually does make a good difference, um, like 11 chemistry in my case because he's Scottish and Charlie Adam is Scottish so he, you get one chemistry for that plus the 10 chemistry you get for having a manager with the same he likes the uh, formation that you're using uh, 442 in my case here I go up against this guy nearly all Spanish side um, with the exception of his strikers and the left side of his field um, here this guy just makes a really dumb mistake as we saw in the last match and passes it right to Balotelli off the goal kick and Balotelli is not going to miss from that close. Um, can't really say much else about that goal but here Balotelli has a really nice um, run. Dribbles through like three or four of their guys. Nice skill. And then finishes with that guy on his back in the bottom corner. Really nice finish. As I said, very happy with these signings. Balotelli is playing really well. And here Holden, another um, great run. Um, and then shoots it right off the goalie. Unfortunately, didn't get the goal, but 
Goal is goal, can't complain, and Balotelli, I believe, has a hat-trick now, so really early hat-trick uh, going into the second half, and here, um, Stravins gets played in by Balotelli and finishes nicely. Uh, bronze players are still playing really well, so again, Stravins with a nice header goal off the corner, five makes it five to nothing in the second half, and then here, a really nice goal from um, Stuart Holden, again, uh, takes a big touch after some nice skill, and then puts a really nice finish into the bottom corner, lays his shot, curved really well, um, bounced, and then hit the bottom corner. So the game finishes six to nothing. Um, really good result, six to nothing. Very popular score with this team. Not really sure why that is, um, but yeah, can't complain again. 900 coins, really good um, result. Dominated basically, so definitely deserve to win. Um, still undefeated, so that's always good. Love to get a lot of wins. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. So um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, please, and I'll see you guys next time.